This is Alan Weaver. I'm here to talk about adding borders to your pictures. It's often easier to do this this way than to get a mat. Of course, it won't look as nice as the mat, but it's a nice way of doing it. I have this photo here. I'm going to show you the simple way first. Uh, one thing you might want to do is to want to put a border around it. You could go to image. We go to canvas size. And then you could add space at the top, the bottom, the relative here. And then it shows the color here of the canvas that we're going to have and let's say I want to give this a nice yellowy color or whatever I use my eyedropper I selected that and then I might want to add an inch and a quarter on the left an inch and a quarter on the right I say okay this is the image now with the mat here you can take this even further and add another border around it so I go to canvas size again I will change the color here and let's say I want this deep orange here um, on there say okay I'm gonna add uh, let's say two inches it actually physically increases the size of the picture um, the canvas that it's in, it does not re increase the size of the physical picture that's in there, or the photo in there. So we now have this. Move these out of the way. I can shrink this down. And ta-da, you've got this done. Okay, I'm going to close this out. I don't need to save it. I'm going to go and show some more intermediate functions here. Let's say you want to do a little fancier with the border. <clears throat> And this technique will actually reduce what you have in the picture. I click on the marquee tool. I draw the marquee around like this. You got to be accurate. I'm just doing this very quickly. I can nudge this up and down, left and right with my arrow keys. This looks good. Now what I want to do is I want to blur out this outside area. And then I might want to apply a color to it. So what I would do first, I click on select. I inverse the selection. Now, let's say I just want to blur this out. I could do that if I want to as the border here. I go to Blur. I go to Gaussian Blur. And it shows it like that. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit here. And if you look on the picture here, you can see that it's a little blurrier. I say OK. I got the preview on. Preview off. Say OK. I've got that done. Now, the next thing I want to do there's a few other things we can do here. I could blur, do some strokes to this. I click on Filter. I click on Brush Strokes. And you could use anything you want. I go to Sprayed Strokes. It shows a preview over here. It's applying it. I can work with the stroke length, the radius. And you can see I'm getting a real effect showing up in here. And then I go, it says horizontal, I can make it left diagonal. Takes a moment to do this. I'm working with Photoshop CS2. You have all these functions with, even with elements. So let's say I like this. I can shrink this down by clicking on the minus sign down here. So it shows what the border will look like. Okay, not the most dramatic in this one here, but I'll say okay. So I've got that. If I want to save what I've selected, I could click on select, say save selection. I could give it a name called border. That way, if I want to go back to it, now I'm going to just deselect. It shows us here. I'm just going to enlarge this a little bit so you can look into the corner. And you can see this. Now, well, I want to do a few more things with this border here. If I color this border with a paintbrush or whatever, um, it will actually cut away from the actual picture. I'm going to go into this picture now. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit so I can see it. Now, I want my selection back. I say select, reselect, or load selection, border, OK. I've got it in there. And now I could go to, I have this orange here. I've selected that already. It picks it up from here. I could say edit, fill. It says foreground color here. And blend normal. I could even make it more transparent. I might make it 75%. Say OK. And I got that. I'm going to deselect. 
So I've got something in here which has a really nice look to it. I probably would not opt for this orange background here. It's too much. So what I could do is say, edit, step backward, edit, step backward. It's two levels of undo. And let's say I want to make it a green. I could click on here, select the green. See, I can go right in here, say OK. And then I could say, edit, fill, foreground color. Let's make it 100. Say OK. I could deselect. So that is your lesson on creating borders for your photos.